While you're waiting on the queue to complete and actually get in and play the game, more than likely have a little bit of free time on your hand. I thought it'd be good to go over how to gain XP the most efficient way. Again, some of this could be changed because I'm doing this prior to the season, but more than likely all of the strategies you have in here should work because there haven't been any major updates to the XP system in quite a while in Destiny 2. With the drop of a new DLC and the subsequent season passes, it's even more important now to figure out how to grind up XP. One of the reasons for this is not just to get power gains, because I know there's some people who want to get power gains for the raid and other activities, but the ultimate reason to do that is to level up your artifact. Your artifact, which you will get early in the campaign, will allow you to actually get the best mods for the season. In Seasons Pass, these are things like Particle Deconstruction allow you to do a great amount of damage with Fusion Rifles. So if you want to do a lot of build crafting in the season, and if you want to get raid ready, or if you just want to play the game in general, you want to do this as quickly as possible. In this video, I will talk about the most efficient way to do that based on experience from previous DLCs and seasons. Now, I have another video where I actually go in the scientific method I determined on what is the most efficient way. You'll see a link here. That is from the previous season, so some of that does not apply, and I'm not gonna go in that much detail, but the methodology I use for that will go into determining, again, the most efficient way on how to get your seasonal pass and your artifact leveled up as quickly as possible. So first off, when you get into the season, the one thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do as quickly as possible is get your seasonal artifact. Now, typically, especially with a the campaign, there's probably gonna be an introductory mission. Soon after that, there probably will be an out to go to the tower or some other area to get your artifact. Do that as quickly as possible because otherwise, if you don't have your artifact, all the XP you're gaining in the game is actually gonna be wasted and is not gonna level up your artifact. The other thing to keep in mind is on your ghost shell, you have mods that will allow you to get additional XP, up to 12%. The problem is the one from the last DLC actually has expired as of the end of season 15. So that 12% that you have in your ghost, mod, ghost today will not work. You can either use the 10% that you still have from the previous season, or you can try to get the new mods. Now, the mods will drop from any legendary drop, so you can get those just from playing the game. You can also go to Rahul and try to buy Engrams and potentially get it from there. But again, that would be a great help. The multipliers that you have as far as XP, they work basically in addition to each other. So for instance, if you have a 12% uh, buff because of what's on your shell, and let's say you have a 20% buff because of what's in the seasonal pass, Basically to figure out what your total buff is gonna be, it's take the XP you're earning and multiply it by 1.12 for the 12% and then 1.120 for the 20%. So it builds on top of each other. So they don't add, they actually multiply. So that's why the more multipliers you get as soon as possible, the better and more efficient way that you can actually level up. So obviously the first way to, to get XP is probably play through the legendary campaign. Now you can play through the normal campaign if you want, I'm going to go ahead and do Legendary for two reasons. One, more than likely there are more difficult bosses and there are more adds, so you're going to get more XP, you're going to get more Glimmer, you're also going to get more drops, which will help you with your power leveling up. The other thing is when you're done with the SIG campaign, you'll get a full set of 1520 gear, which will be over your power cap. Now again, I am not going over power grind, I have a separate video where we'll go over that, but the 1520 gear will help you out a great deal. Now, playing the Legend campaign, and obviously you're going to get a ton of XP just from doing that. But I would also say don't turn your bounties yet, and I'll tell you why. The bigger the bonuses you have, the more duplicative bonuses you have, the more XP you're gonna have when you turn those in. So I would definitely wait until you finish the Legendary campaign before you turn those bounties in. As you rank up by playing this the Legendary, you're also going to get XP boost on your seasonal rank, and it works out in the following way. When you start off your seasonal pass, if you own the seasonal pass for this season, you get a 20% boost. Then at rank seven, you get 22. At rank 16, you get 24. At rank 36, you get 26. At rank 46, you get 28. At rank 66, you get 30. And at rank 76, you get 32. In addition to that, you can get fire team bonuses. These are bonuses that you get for being in a fire team and the person with the highest seasonal pass is going to have the highest bonus for everyone. It's not, they don't add on top of each other. It's gonna be whoever has the highest, everyone in the fire team gets that. Similar to the other XP bonuses, you get this in the following fashion. At rank five, you get 2%. At rank 26, you get 4%. At rank 56, you get 6%. And at rank 86, you get 8%. In addition, for the first five levels that you get for a particular week, you actually get a large boost to your XP in addition called the Well-Rested Bonus, and that's for the first five XP levels per week. 
As you're doing the campaign, there will be a lot of exits typically for a couple of reasons. Either A, you're at a certain point where it actually requires you to have higher levels to be effective, or it tells you to go do a strike or go do something on this mission. So one thing to keep in mind is when you're doing those activities, so let's say you're doing something on whatever the new planet is. One thing you want to keep in mind is in that case, if that planet has bounties and you, if you have access to them, I would go ahead and turn in some of the bounties so you have some free room because you have 63 total bounty slots that are on your character and that includes your quests also. So I would go ahead and turn some of those in and then try to fill up as many of those bounties, again, whether it's the planet or if it strikes, go get strike bounties. Now, one thing to also keep in mind is you're gonna wanna keep probably a couple free slots because if you do get a new quest during the campaign, you're definitely gonna want to get that. And if you have a full inventory, you won't be able to. Sometimes in previous seasons and DLCs, when those quests have come out and if you've been full, they've gone to your postmaster, or in some cases, they've just disappeared. And so that's become an issue. So I would definitely make sure you have a little bit of space free. In addition, if you pick up at bounties, you get over the eight for each of the different activities. So for instance, if you go on a strike and you happen to turn in some of your bounties that you already have, plus you turn in the bounties that you just did, you can potentially go ahead and unlock some of those challenges and those challenges will give you a good amount of XP as well. Okay, once you finish the legendary campaign, now here's where the real grind begins. Go ahead and turn in all your bounties on all three characters at this point. Because at this point, you're just trying to take advantage of all the bonuses you have, and you wanna boost your seasonal rank as quickly as possible before you start doing other activities. Do this in a fire team, and keep in mind where you are rank-wise. If you can do this after rank 26 or 36, the better, as there are key fire team and seasonal pass XP increases that you will have if you wait that long. If not, anything is gonna help, so just get to the level you need. Seasonal challenges will give you your best XP gains, and typically there will be ones tied to the season event. So do those in the bounties first if possible, because the other thing is that seasonal event a lot of times can be tied into some activities within the campaign. So do that as quickly as possible. Then there'll be ch challenges for the core activities, including Crucible, Gambit, and Strikes. Do those and make sure to pick up the bounties as you do them to increase your gains. If possible, do those with clanmates for more XP from Hawthorne through your weekly challenges. So you're gonna get the seasonal challenges, which are gonna give you a ton of XP. You're gonna get the weekly challenges from turning in the bounties, and then you're going to be able to use the bounties from Hawthorne for the weekly balance that she has, and that will give you additional XP as well. The gunsmith should have a new reward system, so hit that hard too. We don't know what it looks like yet, but often you can do the gunsmith bounties if they exist in the same way. You can do those while you're doing other activities because they're typically like get a kill with this gun or use this burn or things like that, and you can combine that with other bounties you're doing already. Then once you're done with that, Make sure you go to the planetary vendor if you haven't already, your new planetary vendor, and make sure you have bounties and work through that as well. Because again, they're going to have weekly challenges and other things and bounties that you'll be able to do, and they should have weekly challenges as well. As you're looking at your bounties, make sure you're prioritizing the ones that you can get the most are the weekly bounties, which are the XP++. Obviously the seasonal challenges, those will give you the most because those have even more. Some of those can get you up to a, like an actual full rank on the seasonal pass. But get your weeklies, then get your dailies. Those are the things you're going to do to get the most XP quickly. Once you're done with that, then you want to move on to dungeons and raids and things like that when they are available. For those, plan on doing it with your primary character and grabbing a checkpoint your secondary character so you can keep moving on. Again, the primary reason for this is as you go around, you want to make sure you're completing all the weekly challenges for all the XP that's possible. Those are the yellow icons that are in the director at various locations. At that point, you should have all of your challenges done and all of your bounties done for the week on that character. So then move on to your secondary character, do the legendary campaign, repeat all the steps, because again, you want to do the legendary campaign so you have the 1520 gear on each character, and then do the same thing on the third. And at that point, you've done everything you can for the week. More than likely, you can do this within a, very, a fairly short period of time, and you'll be completely maxed out and you'll be in good shape to get all of those mods that you have that you need unlocked on the artifact. Well, that's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.